A very big hello to my wonderful Comet K champions. I hope all of you are doing absolutely great. Well, my dear children, an important update has come through regarding the list of important dates as well as the events. For example, when is registration happening? Until what date it will be there? When is your admit card gonna come? When is your examination? When do we get the results? Everything is being mentioned properly so that you guys have a better understanding. I'll be talking more about that. But before I go ahead, everyone who is planning to register for KCT, make sure you register for Comet K also. This is an examination that not many of us know and uh, people miss it out. But please register for it. You will have an option later on. Why I'm telling is that Comet K aims or Comet K is for entry into the private colleges of Karnataka. Okay, private colleges of Karnataka and as I'm getting to understand with the new changes that they have made over here, it says that even uh, the uh, medical courses as well as the dental courses can be pursued. So until the previous year, only engineering courses were being pursued through Comet K. But I see in this particular academic year, there are some changes yet to be confirmed. But yes, please make sure everyone who is in medical or dental field, you also be attentive, go through the website clearly and we are definitely over here. Now this is for the colleges of Karnataka, as I told you, the private colleges of Karnataka. So this exam can be written by the people who are over here in Karnataka and also the people who belong to India. You all can write this examination. So that is the thing. So this is super, super important. And now we will be going ahead talking about the very important thing that is the list of events. So over here, calendar of events is being mentioned. And the first thing that you can see is from 3rd of February, you would be having your application form start date. So you can start applying from 3rd of February. It will be going up to 16th of March. It goes up to 16th of March. That is the application end date. And with my experience, I am telling you, in Comet K, usually they do not extend anything. They do not have any changes. They mostly go according to the calendar. So do not expect any changes to happen right over here. So from 3rd Feb to 16th March, you have time to fill in your application form. Make sure you do quick. Make sure you do before your boats. Because when you are in between your boats, obviously you would not have much time. Okay, so do it before. Now, 18th of February, between this, you will get mock test available online. You can go ahead and practice that as well, if at all you wish. Now, you can edit the application. Once you have filled in the application, there's an end date. After that, uh, there will be a window open so that you can edit any selected fields in your application form. Suppose you did some mistake, you want to make some changes, you can do it. But remember, the time period is so uh, less. It is just from 10th of April to 13th of April. Okay. And then, you would be having to download the admission ticket. Now that has to be done just before the examination. So from 29th of April 2026 until 9th of May when your actual examination is there, you have the time to download your admission ticket. Without your admission ticket, you cannot go ahead and appear for Comet K examination. Now once Comet K examination is done on 9th of May, my dear children, you would be getting the provisional answer key. This is not the final answer key. This is just the provisional answer key and from this point onwards if at all you feel that some question is wrong some answer is wrong you can challenge it you can challenge it from the same point onwards from 13th may onwards it will go up to 15th of may that will be the last date for receiving any challenges or objections to the provisional answer key which is being published now after that they will be giving you the final answer key by 20th of may 2026 Post that on 26th of May, the test scorecards would be made live. Now that is super, super important. Above schedule is subject to change. Please check the website for the latest updates as well. As I said, mostly they do not make much changes. But yes, if at all any examination comes in between, there is a super important, important thing that is coming in between. They might need to change it. Uh, so yes, that's the thing. So I hope it is clear. Everyone. 3rd February is the date for registering. Go ahead and register yourself. And that's all. If at all you have any doubts, put it down in the comment section. And if you think that this video had helped you, do not forget to hit the subscribe button right now. I'm telling you again, everyone who have registered for KCT, make sure you register for this also. The fee is definitely slightly higher, but it is lower than any management quota fee. 
So yes, wishing you all the best. Please take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.